of this because this is just so typical. Very fitting. But we did make it to Florida. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Look what I found. It's been a while since you guys have seen this and uh, we finally made the move to Florida. So I mentioned in that first video when we started making the transition down here and we brought the 3000 over that Morgan and I were moving to Florida and uh, we brought the truck and the car down and we were just kind of getting situated with that. And then we went home for a month. I basically spent most that whole month doing the headers on the V, which you've seen those videos as well. And then now we're here. We loaded up a 26 foot Penske truck to the brim, put the V on a car trailer behind it. And Morgan's brother drove her Audi down. And then, uh, yeah, that's how we got down here. And, uh, it was a heck of a trip. Uh, it was a long one driving that Penske truck. It sucked, <laughs> the thing's huge. But here we are and it's time to get settled here in Florida. And I wanted to start off by showing you guys the garage and where all the work is gonna be going down moving forward. So the Mitsubishi has been tucked away here for a while, almost a month and a half now. And uh, yeah. This is its new home. It stays inside. It stays out of the weather. It's great. I don't just put it away uh, when, you know, winter comes like at home. It has a home. It has room and all that. It's awesome. So starting off, this is the detached garage behind the house. It is a two car with individual bay doors. Uh, like I just said, the Mitsubishi is on this side. And right now, uh, I just still have some stuff that I need to put away on this side. I got some spare wheels on over here. Uh, those are my Kendas for the front of the car. These are some rears. And then I have some spare stacked up in the middle. So all this stuff right here is gonna go away. That is a spare CTSV diff. There is an attic like above the door. So when the doors are closed, there's a drop down. Uh, so all this stuff in the middle here is gonna get tossed up in the attic. It's just boxes, uh, empty boxes of like the Jack and then just boxes of spare Mitsubishi parts that I don't really need on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then we just have a spot right here for the generator because it is Florida after all and we do get storms and hurricanes. So we got this generator here. It's like a 5,500 watt Generac and uh, just some storage bins to take to the track and the spare is there. I ended up putting my toolboxes along this wall right here. So we got my red Craftsman box. We got my cobalt rolling box. Um, everything's kind of out right now. I was in the middle of a project here. I took, I got one of the filing cabinets from home. We got all our fluids on the filing cabinets here, all the funnels down there. I want to hang that BF Goodrich sign. And then uh, back here in the corner, got some storage for track stuff. We got seats, um, our tent. I have an air conditioner on that window right there. Um, some more stuff that just needs to get put away. There, we're still, we've only been here for two weeks now, a week and a half now. And we're still unpacking and just figuring out where we want things to go and all that. Um, so that's my disclaimer. Then we have this cabinet right here. This is all gonna be cleaning products to keep all of our cars clean. So up top here, we have all of our exterior things, a lot of Adam's stuff from Wergs Automotive. We actually have a list uh, for when we drive down to see Wergs and restock on all of the Adam's goods. So we have all the exterior stuff up here. We have all rags and cleaning objects here. And then we got our interior stuff there and uh, nothing really yet for the down there. Um, so I have these benches. I haven't really figured out what I want to do at the top of them yet, but we got our helmets. I want to get that hung. This is a Hot Rod Power Magazine uh, Festival in 98 at Maple Grove Raceway. My dad and I went, there's our tickets in there. You got the uh, poster framed. So definitely want to hang that up. That's pretty cool. Uh, down here, got some spare parts. Like we got those trailing arms for the 3000. We got drop shackles for the Suburban. They're going to be going on at some point. 
spare coilover springs, Mitsubishi parts, some knuckles, intercooler. It was just spare parts down here. On the back of the car, I actually have a brake caliper for the Suburban. I'm in the middle of doing a brake overhaul on that thing. I did a passenger side caliper from when we drove down here. I was having that issue. Uh, I did the stainless steel braided line, new passenger side caliper. Didn't have a driver side one yet, but then the driver side one started hanging up. So I'm convinced it's the Hydro Boost unit. So I order a new Hydro Booster and that's gonna be here in a couple days. And then I'm gonna get this guy on the stainless steel braided line on the front left and a new Hydro Booster. And then hopefully we should be free of all suburban braking issues. So I would say in terms of plans for this garage, um, one of the biggest downsides is the lighting. So there's only these two bars and then there's skylights. So during the day, it's not too bad in here, but um, at night, all I have are these two bars. So the whole front half of the garage is kind of dark. Now I could pull my car in and then have it lit up well, um, but I think if I can try and figure out a way to uh, add some additional lighting in here that'll help i know i've seen some of those like uh plug together light bars uh that just plug into an outlet i could probably like run them down to that outlet down there and have them come across uh do like a row across the top just so that when the doors are closed i can turn them on and then the whole garage will be lit so that'll be a cheap and easy fix uh another one would be probably this air conditioner that's built in i don't think i'm going to get very far with it it does not work but we found out that this garage has been struck by lightning and the circuit in which uh, this was on, uh, everything else fried. There were exterior lights on the circuit of the air conditioner and they were fried. So good chance that's fried. That's why I brought that little guy down there. It works, it works pretty good, keeps the edge off. But um, not too many plans in here right now as far as other than just getting organized. But I've never had so much interior inside space to work on a car and it'll be really nice to be able to stay out of the Florida sun, the Florida heat and be able to stay out of the Florida rain because last week we got so much rain here. It was nuts. So it'll be nice to be able to have some cover uh, and also keep the 3000 clean and dry and all that. So moving up to the driveway. We got the V, I lowered it back down. It looks good. Took it for a couple rides. The alignment isn't 100%, but it's pretty good. Um, it's good enough for now until I do some, some things to it and then we'll uh, bring it to the alignment shop. Got the Audi here and got the Suburban back there. Then we have this two car attached garage to the house and I'll show you the inside of that. So this is the inside of the attached garage. Uh, has some shelves on the wall, which we're already kind of utilizing. Just got some tools down here. And this is basically it. It's not wide enough for a car. You may have seen in my last video down here, how the Mitsubishi kind of just like halfway fit in, but we still have boxes and stuff that we need to go through. Uh, like I have my vinyl machine, got the lawnmower in here and stuff like that, which will probably stay in here. But there is this wall right here and it's a very inconvenient wall because the previous previous owner to the house decided to put this room in here and uh we still have a bunch of stuff in here that still needs to be unpacked but they put out we've been calling it the jesus room because they got a weird picture of jesus that she left behind uh this old fan and it has hvac in here so this garage is technically cooled as well, but there's no insulation. So that'll be useful. That vent right there will be useful if we get some insulation for the garage door, because this whole room is insulated and there's like electric running through the room. Um, like there's an outlet there, there's an outlet, two outlets back there, one there. So, oh, and one here. So we're gonna try and keep some of these wall outlets on the outsides but like these two guys are gonna have to go uh, so we're gonna end up cutting the power to this room we're gonna honestly we could just leave this fan here weird to say but we can leave this fan here we're gonna cut the power to the room and we're gonna knock out this wall right here 
and this wall right here because that'll open up the garage for us and that way we can use the garage for what a garage is meant to be used for. So then if this wall is knocked out, this turns into a pretty deep garage. So what we'll be able to do in here is we'll be able to fit the Audi and the Cadillac in here together. Um, there's no reason for them to be going to the back. So we'll keep them in here. Again, they'll stay out of the weather, they'll stay clean, and we'll have plenty of room in front of the cars as well to uh, maybe bring a toolbox up here for some basic tools and uh, also keep the lawnmower and like some yard supplies up in here as well. So uh, there's a lot of utilizable space uh, in here and we just gotta make the most of it and basically get to that point where we can make the most of it. The house also has a school vacuum. It's like built into the whole house and you turn it on and it like the hose reaches the whole house it's, and it's pretty neat. So you guys will see more around the house as we get more and more situated. But for right now, I just want to show you guys the garage and kind of create a starting point because as you see it more and more, um, obviously it'll become cleaner and cleaner, more and more unpacked and uh, organized and all that. And then we're gonna start doing stuff with the cars. So I already have a drift event set up that I'm gonna be going to in one week, a week and a half from today and then uh, might hit up a car meet this weekend coming, but week and a half, first drift event, be ready. Uh, I got my buddy sending me over some 3D printed pieces to use for the GoPro, so if they get here in time, hopefully we can use them and we can get some cool footage for you guys. It'll be different for the channel. I always try and get good footage, but this will step it up a notch. So, sorry for like just the couple week gaps in between videos and things like that. We're here now the stress of the move is done and we can start making content. We can start doing stuff and enjoying our life. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one.